Hi there, love. Hi, sweet Meredith. Mm. Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. On your own today? On your own today? Sorta. Mickey's in the RV. He hardly slept last night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Yikes. I don't guess bad trips happen. Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Huh? Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. Disgusting. Um, I may have a, a suspicion. I have no, I, no idea. I have no idea how that happened. Uh, hold on. Mickey's got to read this. Yeah, I Mickey. can just leave. Wake up, honey. Leave me alone. I'm still ship faced. <laughs> it's a letter from Damien. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Give me that. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Hey, yo. Oh, really? Where are you going? We're going to Canada. We will be picked up this Thursday early in the morning. <laughs> For good? Oh. Joan? Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two. You know. And talk about the meaning of life, of course. The complete outdoors experience. Oh, cool. Yeah, why not? Oh, cool. I have yeah, nothing going not? on Wednesday. Don't. Awesome. Gotta run. See you Wednesday after sundown. I think June wants me in her pants. I think that's about the most subtle way I can word that. I'm not against it. Not against it. Alright. Um, oh, we're at the fucking motel again. Jesus Christ. All right, open this up. Lake Road. You know, that's what we'll do. Wednesday, we're going to try and see if I can literally just, like, not work on Wednesday. Yeah, it's the fucking... Say nothing. I'm just going to stand here. Excuse me, what's this all about? Oh... I thought I'd not bother you and just deliver the parcel. Yeah. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you acted like a fucking human being. You'd act like a human being. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. Are you sure you're not just playing you a sure game? You're not just playing a game. Yeah, I'm sure. Thanks for the mail. Bye. I'm gonna get the lumberjack to come here and burn and chop this whole fucking place down. This whole place. And then I'm gonna have your head. Little bitch. Alright. Fast travel to the woods. Then we're gonna go deliver the last two things, and then we got a hot date. Wow, we got two dates this week. I mean, this is, <clears throat> this is starting to get interesting now because I'm starting to. Bye, Lori. Um... Oh. All right, so High Street. Where do we? What do we got to do here at High Street? Uh, 103. Beautiful. No, I'm just gonna do this. That's, it's been like three times now that I've tried to turn this down. We're gonna put it at one. I've tried turning that bitch down multiple times and it just refuses to turn mm. off. Or like toggle bills. off, I should say. 
But now we doing, we doing. Doing our best. Uh, so it looks like we're delivering mail to the next door neighbors. <clears throat> Alright, so there's the home. Alright, so like I said, what we'll do is we we'll deliver everything today, and then tomorrow. Oh, not tomorrow, because tomorrow would be Tuesday. That's the last of them. So on Wednesday, I'm going to try to not deliver any mail. That's the plan as of right now, is that Wednesday we're going to deliver zero mail. Because we want to go hang out with June. We want to go get high. We want to go hang out with June. And we want to see what happens. Alright, hopefully Frank isn't uh, fired yet, but who knows. And Kadoosh. End workday. See, because it says end workday. So I'm wondering if I can just leave and then come back and just end my workday. Monday evening. <sighs> we shouldn't answer. Hello? Hey, Meredith. How was your day at the office? Uh, I mean, mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. Um, I did start at the office. I was being interrogated. Actually, it did start at the office. I was being interrogated. Interrogated? What? By whom? Walter Morgan, a higher up from the post service. I started asking questions about code of conduct. He started asking questions about code of conduct and about Frank. Oh, Morgan, that walking corpse. He's always after Frank. What did you say? <sighs> to be honest, I told him that Frank had some suspicious things going on. Oh, uh, okay. Don't worry. It's on Frank anyways. But he'll find a way to get out of it. He always does. Listen, Mom's poking me. I guess we're not allowed to talk about work. Uh, here she comes. Bye, Meredith. Bye, Dad. Hi, Meredith. Hi, Mom. How was Dad trying to get work stories out of you? Hi, Mom. <coughs> yep, he tried. And he succeeded. It was a and weird day. And he succeeded. It was a weird day. Well, I'm changing the subject right now. Have you met that new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. What a jerk. What a jerk. Ugh, I agree. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? Uh, it's nice. I met some interesting peoples. It's nice. I met some interesting people. That's good to hear. Interesting people. Do you mean interesting, interesting? Oh, yeah. Just interested. Mom! <laughs> I mean, you could say the interesting, I interesting. I think you could say interesting, interesting. <laughs> oh, honey, that's so nice to hear. It's been a while since you've met someone interesting. That's right. And now I'm changing the subject. That totally, uh, doesn't feel very familiar. Changing the subject. How are you guys doing over there? Oh, Florida is fantastic. I think I might actually want to live here. The warmth of the sun, it's very easy to get used to. No, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama slammer. <laughs> Alabama what? Yeah. Alabama slammers. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> uh, that boy, Dad. All right, so now we got our hot date with Angie. Ooh. This is fun. It's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. So, which one will it be? My pick? My pick? Alright, let's see. 
Big Trouble in Little China, Blue Velvet, or The Great Mouse Detective. At least give me some least guidance. Give me like, some yeah, guidance, something. Though, Come on. Like... What are we doing? What do you know about what's what's Blue Velvet what's about? Blue Velvet about. Apparently, it's noir with a surrealist twist. I once saw a film by this director called Eraserhead, which was, well, weird, <laughs> unsettling too. From what I've heard, this new one is quite memorable as well. Mm, okay. What about? What do you know about Big Trouble in Little China? It's supposed to be a pretty good ass kicking. Most John Carpenter movies are pretty exciting, at least. He's the guy who made Halloween and The Thing. Nothing too deep, but should be entertaining. <laughs> Heard anything about The Great Mouse Detective? Heard anything about The Great Mouse Detective? <laughs> Disney movie, Mouse Detective. Fair enough. What do you need? A road map? All right, I'm ready to pick. We're going to go see Blue Velvet. Blue Velvet. Good choice. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, I'm kind of speechless. And that's rare for me. It certainly was something. I loved it. And I never want to see it ever again. How I feel about <laughs> Morbius. <laughs> yeah, that about covers it. It's certainly singular. At one point, I did begin to wonder... Do you think Providence Oaks has a seedy underbelly? Yes. I don't think so. Haven't found any yes. ears lying around during my round. Yes. <laughs> well, give it time. So anyway, my parents' house is right down this road, as you well know. Yeah, let's move. Can't take anything you can't seriously. Take anything can you? seriously, can you? I'm sorry, still stuck in that movie vibe. Next time we'll do something in your area of expertise. What computer what, stuff? Computer software? Yeah, we can build a killer robot or something. I like the sound of next time, by the way. I like the sound of next time, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a slip of the tongue. <laughs> That's, uh... So, here we are. Now what? Well, we could have a cup of tea at my place. Well, we could have a cup of tea at my place. I would like that. Oh! <gasps> Yes! I think we know what that creepy Frank Booth character would be thinking right about now. Yes! Mm -mm 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 -mm. 